today we are at the St. Louis RV Show. Let's go. One. St. Louis RV show, we are here to explore future RVs. We love our current RV Monty and don't need a new one yet, but it's always fun to look at RVs. So we're gonna see what maybe our future might look like. We might be looking for something smaller, a little more nimble, or maybe one we wanna find something that is much bigger, more roomy, and better for long-term travel. So we're gonna go see what we can find today here at the show. If we were gonna downsize I would definitely go with a Leisure Travel Van Unity with the Murphy bed. So where we're sitting right now has these awesome comfortable seats, but then they tuck away, fold down, and down here comes your bed. Over here, you've got a televator that's hidden, you have comfy seats that rotate, and you have a full bathroom in the back. Who knew you could get a shower this big in a van? This is like the best travel van ever. When I win the lottery, this one's mine. All right, we'll make it happen. See, look at that. My first impressions are that I love the finishes in the Leisure Travel Van Unity. I think it would be perfect van life option for two people. Not sure that we could do that with Jasper. So originally, this is what my wife was hoping that we would get. We wound up with a big fifth wheel, but check this out. This is pretty cool as a teardrop. So you do have room uh, for king size bed. Be a little squeezy in there, but it would all work. You have windows that pop open, you have canopy, you have racks, um, you have lots of storage, you have propane, so you have all your essentials and check out the, the uh, kitchen in the back. So in this kitchen, check out this pop-up. And one thing that's really nice, look at this light bar. So you're gonna have plenty of light if you wind up, um, you know, out camping, microwave, got two burners, little sink, storage, kind of everything you need. Boy, if we were going with a class A diesel pusher, these Tiffin Phaetons are the way to go. Check out this bus. Here we are on the Tiffin Phaeton 40IH. They said this is the number one selling diesel pusher in the whole country. Boy, when you walk in, it just has that beautiful, open, airy, bright feel. We love the color scheme. You have plenty of seating, and we like that it's on opposing slides. Uh, nice place to eat. Pop-up TVs. Boy, this is gorgeous. The bathroom in this Phaeton is awesome. You've got a beautiful shower. Really big. Room enough for your six-foot-two husband. It's really, really open feeling. Washer dryer, definitely need that if you're gonna have a class A. And lots of closet storage. The bedroom is really nice because you've got slider doors that'll shut it off from the living room. And there's another slider door behind us that'll shut off the bathroom to where you can just have your bedroom space. There are really pretty LED lights up in the trim, which makes it look really special. And you've got a nice size TV, good drawer storage, what a nice bedroom bathroom area. I am super excited to go in this Grand Design Solitude 390RK. It has a rear kitchen. That's going to be amazing. I think I have found the perfect fifth wheel for B if we want to expand and go larger. This one has a rear kitchen that's just like what I have in my house. It has a U-shaped kitchen with an island in it. And because this is the raised rear kitchen, underneath on the outside, there is a huge storage compartment where we can actually slide our bikes underneath it. This is awesome. Convection. Stove and oven. The bedroom layout of this one is very similar to our current one, which is very good. This has a nice uh, king size bed. It's got a dresser. It's got a huge front closet, even with built in shoe storage and you still get a closet that has washer dryer prep so it would work perfect for us the bathroom on this model is definitely an upgrade from our current one in that you get double sinks lots of space you still have the big shower with a bench in it and you have some nice deep storage cabinets 
One of the things I just love is this feature wall that is made of reclaimed teak. There is no carpet in the whole rig, so it would be super easy to keep clean. Some of the outside features of this rig are amazing, whether it's this huge basement with the heavy duty slide out tray, the full body paint, and the front basement storage. A lot to like about this rear kitchen model. We have had a blast at the St. Louis RV show, and there were a few units that really stood out to us. Yep, we kind of looked at all the extremes of what we might change to in the future. We kind of revisited my beginning hopes of a camper and <laughs> found the coolest teardrop camper ever. Yeah, and then if we want to go the other huge extreme, we loved the enormous Phaeton Class A diesel pusher. That was awesome. If anybody happens to have an extra half million dollars around, then just let us know. Yep, we looked at the leisure travel van because that's one that we've actually really been thinking about would that work for us in the future. And I think after finally getting to see one in person, it's going to be too small. And then the last option that we just loved was the Solitude by Grand Design with the special teak wall and the rear kitchen. It was really super awesome. Yeah, and that huge under, underneath storage that slides out where you could put bikes and kayaks, that is what I think is in our future. Uh-oh. <laughs> so lots of great options. Make sure you get out and explore because today is an adventure day. Yeah!